What's up? It's Nick. Um, I got a quick video to show you um, how to uh, just kind of a review on dictating and notating rhythms. Okay, so right here I got something real simple. We all know this. These are quarter notes. Beat one, two, three, four. I don't know why I drew them sideways like that. I'm a dummy. Okay, so let's see what if we had a rhythm like. Okay, we got our quarter notes. All right, nothing crazy. Still draw them sideways like a dummy. Let's say I put that in there. How are we gonna notate that now? Well, we're not gonna change the other beats. In fact, I'll kind of put this back to where it was. Shouldn't have erased it. One, two, three, four. We're just adding a note right there. So we're not changing any of the other big beats. All we're gonna do is we're gonna add a plus, and we're gonna say and. You know, one, two, and three, four. It's really important to speak these out loud too, because however you talk about them, that's how you're gonna end up playing them. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. What if I put another one right here? One, two, and three, four, and one, two and three, four and. Notice the big beats didn't move. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's not too tough. But let's do something that maybe you might not have seen before. So I'm gonna just gonna draw really quick a bunch of eighth notes. Um, okay. So we know this is one and two and three and four and if we were to, to talk it or speak it, whatever you wanna say, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Pretty easy. Now, what if we take one away like on a big beat? So an eighth note by itself looks like that. There's a little flag. So we could have two eighth notes by themselves and it would look like that. This is exactly the same. These two notes is exactly the same as those two. They're just stylized differently. So you could beam them together or you could keep them separate, whatever. And usually you're gonna beam it though because it looks better, it's easier to read. So let's say I delete this guy and we put a rest in its place. And that's what a rest looks like, an eighth note rest, kind of like a little seven. Now they have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so let's say we're to clap this we go one and and three and four and one and three and four and let's try to take out another beat let's say right here we gotta turn that into an eighth note if we just kept it like that then it would be a quarter note and we want it to be an eighth note okay and we got to put an eighth rest in this place so now I have one and and three and four and one and and three and four and kind of crazy, right? Let's try it with some quarter notes and eighth notes. Let's say we have like one, two and rest and okay. So take a minute to yourself. I didn't draw this very good. I'm like doing it in a mirror. Kind of take a minute and try and see how you would notate this. Well, we're definitely gonna start one, right? That's the first beat, it's gotta be one, and then next one's probably gonna be two, and those are eighth notes, so two and the next beat has to be three, but that's kind of weird. Beat three on a rest, that's kind of funny. Um, what we're gonna do, we just Keep it going like nothing happened. Three and, because those are eighth notes. Boom, boom. And then we have B4. One, two, and, and four. 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 And that's that. Okay, so that's dictating uh, and notating some simple rhythms. Well, that's kind of a crazy rhythm. I wouldn't say this is a simple rhythm, it's more. I don't know, a little bit more tough, depending on what instrument you play. So hopefully that made sense. Um, cool.
I hope you enjoy the lesson. Bye.